Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to enter your password into Terminal on the Mac operating system. So some people get a bit confused about this because if they have a terminal window open that they can't see what they're typing into the password field and they think that something's gone wrong. So today I'm going to show you how to enter your password. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing. It only takes a moment to do, but it really helps to support this channel and the work that I do. So here I've got a terminal window up and I'm just going to make this bigger by pressing Command plus and then we're going to put it in the center of our screen. And what I'm going to do now is to simulate what happens when you have a password prompt come up on terminal. So I'm going to type in sudo v and press return. Now it's asking for a password. So you might be a little bit confused by this because when you type in password, nothing will appear on screen. However, you have typed something and if you press return now, then it's going to accept whatever you entered as the password attempt. So make sure that you know what your password is before you actually try to type this into the terminal window. So as an example here, my password is the word password, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. I'm going to press return and now that's been accepted. So all you have to do is to type in the password. You won't be able to see any asterisks or stars or anything like that and just press return and then you'll be able to enter it. If you keep getting the password wrong, you can go to the Apple logo here, go to system preferences, then you can go to users and groups, and then you can go ahead and click the padlock icon here, and then you can test your password out, see if it's correct. So I'm gonna type in password here to unlock. And if it's correct, then the padlock will become unlocked and you'll be able to access your local account. And if you want to do as well, you can also change your password here too. And then when you're prompted in terminal again, you'll know that that is the correct password to use. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.